The Carpathian bison was much smaller but similar to the Caucasian subspecies with all the adaptations to a highland environment. It used to live in the Carpathian Mountains and Transylvania. Some scientists also think that it is possible that the European bison and auroch, which is extinct wild cattle, interbreed in the past. The Carpathian bison is the last surviving species of Europe's large grazers, but this largest terrestrial mammal remains at risk from extinction. Most free-ranging herds remain small and isolated. Minimum viable population size is estimated at 1000 animals, much larger than any current herd. Wizond is generally considered a deciduous forest species, preferring landscape mosaics, but they also thrive both in coniferous forest and more open landscapes. The Carpathian bison was totally exterminated in the 18th century. The European bison has a status of endangered species according to IUC and the Red List and has been selected as a priority species under EU Habitat Directive. The Carpathian Mountains have been a stronghold for reintroduced wild European bison populations. Furthermore, human pressure has decreased considerably in the Carpathians after the breakdown of socialism. Large farmland areas were abandoned and large carnivore and herbivore populations are increasing. The species of Carpathian bison currently does not realize its full potential distribution. Six free-ranging bison herds currently exist, two in the Polish Bishchady mountains, western herd about 150 animals, eastern herd about 140 animals, one in northern Slovakia, nine animals, and three herds in Ukraine, Skole district, 14 animals, Bukovina mountains, two herds, together 80 animals. A seventh herd of 22 animals is being reintroduced in the Vanatory Nant Nature Park in Romania. The bison today occupy substantially less than 1% of their former range in the Carpathians. The Carpathians are among the few places where such a metapopulation could become reality. Between 1963 and 1976, the bison population was founded in Polish Bishchady Mountains with 34 animals. The Bishchady's free-ranging herd is the only one in Poland belonging to the Lowland Caucasian line. They occupy about 300 square kilometers. Nowadays, the population of about 200 animals is big enough to form a stable population and therefore has a low risk of genetic losses in the future. Last year, several transports from other countries supplemented the local bison herd in Bishchari Mountains. Four individuals were imported from Scandinavia in December 2001. Subsequently, three individuals were brought from Zoet Prague in 2005 to 2006. The last bison import from Germany took place in 2008. 
single cases of bison being attacked by wolves and bears were also recorded in the Bishchari. European bison barely escaped extinction in the early 20th century and now only occur in small isolated herds scattered across Central and Eastern Europe. The species survival in the wild depends on identifying suitable habitat for establishing bison metapopulations via interactions of new herds. European bison habitat across the Carpathian Mountains is a stronghold of bison and one of the only places where a viable bison metapopulation may be possible. Forests cover primarily core and perforated forests and variables linked to human disturbance best predict bison habitat suitability. Bison show no clear preference for particular forest types, but prefer managed grasslands over fallow and abandoned fields. Several large, suitable but currently unoccupied habitat patches exist, particularly in the eastern Carpathians. This available suitable habitat suggests that European bison have an opportunity to establish a viable Carpathian metapopulation, especially if recent trends of declining human pressure and reforestation of abandoned farmland continue. Establishing the first European bison metapopulation would be a milestone in efforts to conserve this species in the wild and demonstrate a significant and hopeful step towards conserving large grazers and their ecological roles in human-dominated landscapes across the globe.